ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bartell Roads Gymnasium for our final home game of the season, conference match between uh, your Lady Jayhawks and the Insilla Lady Chargers. The uh, Jayhawks have an undefeated season going on after Tuesday night's thrilling five-setter uh, come from behind victory against Grand Rapids, 15-11 in the fifth. And tonight they'll try to defend their home court for one final time this season in conference play against Ancilla. And then uh, that'll bring them to uh, regional play Wednesday night here back at Bartell Roads Gymnasium for the first round of regional play. Any idea of start time? Did you get a start time? I think it's 6.30 or 7, but we'll... We'll let you guys know if we find out. We will be sure. live streaming both matches Wednesday and Friday, so tune so in. It's a winner go home situation. Yeah. So. Jayhawks start off with a nice quick 1 0 lead. I think this is the third meeting this season between uh, these two teams. Randy Bigelow up. Ref in there with Betty Muir down. Number one, Alexa Fly Martin, not a Leroy to say. Double time pass there by Gordon Carlisle. One herb stab by number 15, Juanita Tate out of. Heron High School in Indianapolis. Nice serve there by Kill Martin. A little long. This is the match you were down in Florida. Pete and I did the first time Ancilla visited here. Abby Seeger back to serve. Abby coming off a great performance Tuesday night. Nice tough serve. Just a bit long there. Three two lead for the Jayhawks. And service error number two for the Jayhawks. Two of the three points for Ansola off a miss serve. So that'll start out here. Number twelve. Carly up, raw, up the serve. Jordan Carlisle coming up the middle for a tandem and gets a kill. Sends Megan Crowley back to serve and brings in Lindsay Ryder to block right side. Maybe a bump set there would have been the yeah, better choice. A little, little tight set for setting air. 5 3 for the Lady Jayhawks. Six sophomores of their eight players on Ancilla. Nice serve by Mason Crowley, service winner for 6 3. Yeah, she's like. Coach McAllister's got some recruiting to do. Yeah. And senior night here tonight as well, or sophomore night, if you will. Even better. Jared Carlisle hits it out. Inside out. 4 6. Gabby Thomas back to serve. Double there. Yep. Five, six. Good thing there by Jordan Carlisle. Announced during the, the uh, introduction of the day that Jordan should continue playing at Aquinas volleyball. Yeah. Yeah. 
just a bit wide again too, almost the exact same spot that Carlisle hit. Just good, good open spots, just yeah. missing them by a couple inches. Well, we got uh, two hitting errors, two service errors. So four to six points for Ancella off of errors. They're taking advantage of that, and staying close at six seven. Another hitting error, so seven seven. Patrick's are looking for some, a little better serve receive. Good pass there. Mm -hmm. Abby Seeger in. Sorry, Vanderord back to serve. Britton Q out. Good serve. Mm -hmm. Free ball coming back for the Jayhawks. Gonna work every time tonight. Yeah. Big advantage there for Abby. Another service error. That's six errors total on the J Lady Jayhawks. Good timeout by Coach Rixie. The Jayhawks a little flat, maybe a little overconfident. Uh, just don't seem real dialed in here so far off the start. Yeah. As we mentioned, Coach Rixie and the Jayhawks. Fortunate enough to host regionals this year. A little bit different scenario. No state tournament. Heading right to regional semifinal. So that'll be Wednesday night here. And if they win, they will play again Friday night. So. Get a couple more, a uh, couple more matches from us. You hope uh, we'll be here Wednesday night for sure. The Muskegon wins. I'm sure we'll be here Friday, and I don't know if we'll be here Friday, win or lose. Yeah, I'm not sure about That's that. Either. I think I think how I understand that is higher seed would host no matter what. Oh, so they they win, they stay here. If they lose, then they but probably go to whoever the second seed is, Grand Rapids. I think they'd go to Grand Rapids then. I get it. So, yeah, we could just work Wednesday. Hopefully we work Wednesday and Friday. Yeah. They didn't want, Coach Rooksy was telling me they didn't want four teams in one gym because of COVID. So. Out of the timeout, a bad pass, a free ball over. Not going to work. Deep it through the block, 9-9. Nine, nine. Just a bit long. Just out. Jordan Carlisle gets out of the way. And a postman comes in for Lindsay Ryder to serve. Play a little back row. 10-9 lead. Oh. Missed call there on the double. Yeah. Yeah. And a hitting error, so 11-9. Hits the antenna. My good. Didn't call that, but I don't know if it hit the antenna. I, I don't, think, it I don't think it hit the antenna between you and me, but that's just a tough call to make. Yep. A good swing, maybe a timeout coming here from Coach McAllister. Yep, 13-9. Yep. I like her Converse high tops, Steve. Oh, did you check those out on Coach McAllister? Got nice. some snazzy looking Converse high tops there. Right back from my era, they have Converse. I mean, no Nike back then. That was pre Nike. So, a little trivia, folks. Back from the, well, let's just call it a few years ago. Jayhawks, they're so fortunate to win both their matches next week. They'll head off the Nationals and Cedar Rapids. Iowa. 
so that will be uh, two weeks after, uh, just about 12 days after next Friday, so it starts on a Wednesday, Extend Wednesday to season, Saturday. I'm sure yeah. the girls wouldn't mind that. Been to Nationals, great experience for coaches and players and parents, and hopefully parents can enjoy. You know, unfortunately, we've been without fans all season. Yeah. 13-9, Anna Postma back to serve. Keeps it in with a Jayhawks knee. And a smart play there by Megan Heiss. Megan Heiss got some good springs in her. Is she a basketball player in high school too? She played basketball at WMC and volleyball. Five point cushion. 14-9 out. Good block there by, by Crowley. Go three. Good high hard swing there by and a good swing there by Heist. Two yeah. good plays. Yeah. Two good deep swings by her. Yeah, that's right. And the Got second one found the line. That yeah, was nice. Had a little top spin on it and dove and touched the line. 15-9. Anna still serving. Good up by Siri. She's there with two arms, just uh, laid out and tried going with a left arm stab and didn't grab mm -hmm. it. 69, little at the timeout, little little uh, prep in the step there. Yeah. yeah. Good serve. That one down. That one did hit the antenna, no doubt about that one. 17-9. Anna Postman back to serve. Back row. Good high yeah, hand touch go. there. Good high hard swing there with the 18-9. Timeout. Mm -hmm. Timeout by Coach McAllister. Abby Seeger giving them some of her specialty. A nice slide with a quick arm swing for deep corner kill. Doubling them up at 18-9. Jayhawks starting to make it happen a little bit more. Well, it's going to go from 9-9 to 18-9, so. Nice little break here. Coach Ricky probably let him rest this weekend. Practice Monday hard, Tuesday. Get a little walkthrough going and then prepare for Wednesday, Thursday. Same thing, do a little scouting. Hope they're, if they win Wednesday night, play again Friday and then see what happens in a couple weeks to prove about a 10 day period to prepare yeah. for nationals if they make it. Find some tape and do some studying and you know with all this COVID junk going around it's been not many tournaments played so it's usually when we could pick up our tape for national when we play these tournaments around the Midwest but and yeah, now with uh, hopefully a lot of them live streaming there's access to yeah. them kind of like these matches I believe you can go back through and oh, watch them. You? Yeah. A nice draw swing there by Abby Seeger. And Anna Postma just piling up those service points. 19-9. Good deep serve. Nice big there by the Jayhawks. And number eight in. Megan Wagner. Keeps the ball in, making Silva make the mistake. Block over. And that's not going to work. That's going to be for a contact. Mm -hmm. This was the first we've seen of Megan Wigginer out of Grant all, all season, hasn't it, Steven? Yeah, she might have played last time we played Ancilla, but good to see her out there getting some reps in in the front row. Yeah, I, didn't, I thought she was hurt. I hadn't seen her out. Always nice to see her get some reps in. Picked up, deep corner. Megan Crowley having her way, picking which side thought she wants to go to, shoving it deep, good for uh, her to see it. Thought that came out a little, uh, little sloppy. Thought. Maddie Wynn back to serve at 21-9. Crowley back row here to 
Jordan Carlisle. Every time. Tonight, there's no stopping her tonight. You get the pass, she's going to have her way. She's, she's going to hit. Her only enemy will be an error, I think. Eddie Wynn, another good serve. Back out. No roll shot. Oh, nice up. Another free ball for the Jayhawks. See if yeah. they can put it away. Over. Picked up. Good block there by Wigner. Another block by... That's coming over there. Mm -hmm. Jayhawks 20. Both of us nine. had it, but they, uh, our shield got it for us. Our uh, yeah. protective shield. A Not little quite sure what that's going, yeah. 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 Maddie went at 23-9. Nice deep serve again. Good dig there. Tucked Tuck. up. Carlisle again. Hit it long. Just long. 24-9, or 23-10, excuse me, 10-23. Nice run from the Jayhawks there, 14-point yeah. run. That's right, 14-1. There we go, boom, let's get the top of the tape, but still got it over. Top of the tape, then hit the block and kind of skidded, skipped, whatever. 24, we're at set point, 24-10. Megan Wagner back to serve up the Set number one point. We play three set, three best three out of five sets. Good serve. Mm. Oof. No, yeah. Maybe net violation. No. Twenty-five ten. Yeah, twenty-five ten. Maybe so. a missed net call there. Yeah. So. After 9-9, nine, nine, they cleaned up their act a little bit, and uh, seven of the first nine points for Ancilla were errors by the Lady Jayhawks, and they cleaned up their game, and then they went on a roll and just kind of ran away with it. So Yeah, it made it happen. So Convincing 25-10, first set. Got a couple minutes before we hit uh, set number two. Once again, we're playing the best three out of five sets. First four sets go to 25, win by two. Fifth and deciding set goes to 15, win by two. And we had one of those Tuesday night. That was a fun match to call, fun match to watch. I, I like I like coming and watching volleyball like that. There's a lot of energy in a gym with no people in it. The players were involved, the coaches were involved, everybody was involved, and it was yeah. a... GRCC brought their A game, and yeah. a, they had their outside hitter who they were missing in the first time back. We saw him here, yeah, in fact, she was... Had to run a little or unorthodox uh, right side swinger there. They couldn't get, they couldn't, couldn't, they couldn't get down, to get, get her swing down. She has a different approach, and Different Abby, arms. Abby Seeger did a nice job getting her a couple of times from yeah. moving that girl over, like to hit yeah. six, seven feet off the net, but would hit high and hard and deep, and it's not an easy play to block and or dig. Right. And she's hitting it with some pace. Yeah. She she hit yeah she hit with a lot of pace. There's no doubt about that. And Oberlin from Fruitport, a middle, uh, played real well for Grand Rapids, and Kaylee Carmina Sutter from Fruitport had a nice match for Grand Rapids. So. Uh, all for naught, though, because the uh, Lady Jayhawks uh, prevailed 15-11 uh, in the fifth. Very fun match to uh, to call. And if, from what we understand, if the higher seeds win on Wednesday night, we'll see a fourth match of the year from them next Friday night here at Bartell Rose Gymnasium. I'm Wishing like all oh, get out, we could get some fans in here. That'd be nice. I was talking to Coach Rixie. He said, for all the other sports um, in the NJCAA, they were not doing the brackets like they were for volleyball. They were weren't going first and second out of each conference, um, which kind of is a bummer because probably GRCC and. MCC would have a shot at making nationals if they split them. Right, exactly. So they happen to still stay in the same region this year, even though for basketball and other sports they were doing it differently. Yeah. 
Yeah, we always we always had them in our when I was coaching here. They were always in our region, but it was they were usually on the other side. Right, but at least for this year, the way it was lining up, you would think with the other sports that they would be completely in another bracket. Right, exactly. There we go, beginning the set two. Carlisle coming in, swing, kill. Brittany McHugh comes in. Seeger goes back to serve. 1-0 Lady Jayhawks. Tough serve, but just a bit wide. wide. Rather see him miss him long and wide like that instead of uh, into the net. Yeah, me too. Aggressive. An aggressive miss is good. Still a miss, but... Still counts for the same amount of points, but Crowley yep. heading back to serve with a 2-1 lead. Right or in, Maddie went out. Maddie had a nice night Tuesday night. Make a nice deep serve. Cut shot, not going to work there. Ryder was all over it anyway. Yep. Three one Jayhawk lead. Crowley still at the service line. Touch and the net, so Charger's gonna get the point either way there. twist and a play anyway, so Yeah, I mean, ran, haven't seen that all year. Ran McHugh behind, or right. She, I think she does so much better with a higher set. Forces yeah. her to keep her arm high. Uh, she's got a 5-6 blocker too, so. No, but that was still a good her. high hard swing, yeah. at least it wasn't. Yeah, I agree. She's always done better with a higher set. Nice up by Siri. Ryder. One arm bandit. Siri calls him off. Oh, again, deep. Megan having a nice night. She's taking a good swing at it. 5-3. Jordan back to serve. Not a good serve. And McHugh, I'd like to say who number two is, but they don't have her identified on their roster, so our apologies to any of the viewers from Ancilla, who number two is. We'll ask the coach in between sets, give her her due. I know as a parent, I'd hate to have somebody. Yeah. That violation on number two there. Lucky yeah. play there for the Jayhawks. Maybe a timeout coming from the Chargers. 7-3. Yeah. Just stretching out. Yeah, there we go. I think that'll get a timeout. Yeah. Yep, it does. Coach McAllister at 8 3 calls for time. Okay, we found out who number two is. It's Olivia Schwab. Just has the wrong number on the on thing the here, so our apologies. Olivia, we will properly identify you from here on out. Jordan Carlisle out, time out, nice serve. Speaking of Olivia, take the swing at it. Back to Ryder, on the line for a kill. That's going to work. 9-3 lead. Really tough serve there. Ooh. She had that top spin on it. It just went a little wide. 
4-9. Jayhawks need a side out here, number five. Felton Berger back to serve. Going a little bit long, but got a hand stuck her hand out and hit it. So ten four. Good block by mm -hmm. Seeger, mm -hmm. but a good cover. That didn't. Uh, They're mm -hmm. calling a touch on that. We're gonna. I don't know if there was or wasn't, but it doesn't matter. Same result. 11-4. No, no complaints from Coach Rixey on uh -huh. that, but his team is up by seven points. Uh -huh. Andrew Ward, a nice deep serve. Back to McNabb. The swab, excuse me, Olivia puts it down. Keep it through the block out there. They got, her, they got her listed at 5'10". It seems a little bit of a stretch to me, but... Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. Jump there. There it goes. Ryder. Boom. Oh, I like that. A good quick swing down the line. Nice, nice set by Megan Crowley. Good turn Pass down the set line. hit. Maddie Wynn comes in. 12-5. Seeger cleans it up, 13-5, and the second and final timeout by Coach McAllister called at 13-5. It's the engines are running for the Lady Jayhawks now, and they're just kind of forcing their will upon Ancilla. Thirteen to five lead. Jayhawks won the first set, twenty-five ten. If you're just joining us, best three out of five. So Jayhawks will need to win three sets, two twenty-five points to win the match and complete the undefeated conference season. Uh, Twelve and zero. The so one non-conference match. If I can figure out who they played, maybe Mott. So, and I think Coach Rixey said Mott was the best on the other side, and they beat them three to one when I, they played them back in February. Is what so he was telling me prior to the match. They might, he thought they might play Oakland, did you say? And then Mott would play Grand Rapids. Is that how it went? Yes. Out of the time no, 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 Mott's on the other side. Grand Rapids. I'm not sure who Grand Rapids would play. Maddie win. Nice block there. Yeah, uh, Crowley jumps up, solos that one for 14. Uh, that was great serve by Maddie Wynn. 15 to 5. I guess this just kind of registered with me. Last conference game, I'm guessing this is all for Ancilla. Yep. Last match of the season. Yep. Good high swing there. Jayhawks pick it up off the block. Carlisle swings just a bit long. Side out, 6-15. Really ever saw with the serve. Free ball up, Let's see what she's gonna do. Maddie brings it up, back row to Carlisle. Nice play there by Plum. Out of the back row, nice swing. A good on two play, you usually don't yep. see that on indoor. Yep. Seven to 15, Jayhawks looking for a side out. Nice tough nice. serve. Good, yep. good in play, good talk by Surrey. Takes the setter out. 
keeps her arm high, just didn't snap on top completely. All sails. Brought that one up. Good talk. Uh, they had two players, almost three players there to play that, so it's good to see the pursuit. 17-7. Nice, comfortable Jayhawk lead in set two after winning the first set, 25-10. Two swing down the line by Carlisle for 18-7. Good tough serve yeah, by Megan. Right. You're going to pick it up. Good hustle. Her free ball. Seeger up. Give it back to her. Boom. That's the end of that. Mm -hmm. Number five, Olivia Feltenberger, just kind of backing into it when she should have stayed up a little bit and would have been right in her platform. Mm -hmm. Maddie's still back to serve. Or Megan, excuse me. Crowley. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Gonna be four contacts, maybe. That's no. what I thought. Yeah. That's gonna work for 27 out of timeouts on the Chargers side. Uh -huh. And a post man. Making with a nice serving yeah. run though. Very nice. 27, no. Serves it under that. 8.20. Alexa Kilmartin back to serve for Ancilla. Three ball, quick three ball there. Touch went through the blocks. No touch. 21-8. Seeger back to serve. McHugh in. That's a good serve. Three ball for the Jayhawks. Uh, 22-8. Number 11, Gabby Thomas getting a little frustrated out there. Having a lot of chances and yeah, Megan Wigan block just there. Yeah, Megan Wigan there comes in for Carlisle. Seeger back. Good serve. Way in. In by about a foot. Nice serve by Abby. 23-8. Two points from set two. That's a good serve. Nice pass there by Gabby Thomas. Yep. Beats it off the of McHugh Crowley combo block. Jesse Whitcomb out of Tri County puts it through for 9.23. Well back to serve. Picked up by Postema. McHugh down the line. That's going to fall for a kill. 24-9 brings us to set point for Megan Crowley back at the service line. Lindsay Ryder comes in. Maddie Wynn goes out. And set point for set number two for the Lady Jayhawks. Good deep serve. Oh, nice oh geez. Oh, just long. Good swing. It's a little bit long. 10 24. Okay, Hawks, need to side out here to take a two set to zero lead. Mm -hmm. 
it is. Megan Wagner with a swing for set number two, 25-10. Jayhawks up. Two sets to nothing. We'll be back in a few minutes. And we're back with you here after a short three-minute pause between set two and set three. Lady Jayhawks up two sets to none. Trying to get the broom out and make it three in a row. Make it an early evening for everybody here in this brisk but sunny Friday night. And a quick one on lead on a miss swing. So Kelly coming off. A little bit of a Double di double dipping, huh? Well, maybe. Easy play there. Yep. Three zero. -oh. Passed up. Passed up. Oh, you got it. Stay, keeps it in play. Good court awareness there by Crowley. Mm -hmm. Side out. And give it right back with the Mets at 5 1. And Seeger goes back to serve. McHugh comes in. Five one lead here in set three with the two sets in the bag. There's a good serve. Pass up. There you go, nice touch set. Sub. It looks like number 12 is okay. It's good to see, she didn't hurt herself. As a freshman though, not one of the six sophomores, so she'll hopefully be back next year to join the Chargers. 6-1, another good serve, picked up. Chargers. Yeah, Brittany starting to uh, warm up a little couple kills here in this rotation. 7-1. Good to see her getting involved. Abby back to serve up 7-1. Another good serve. Wasn't clear to play in that, so Jayhawk took over. Timeout by Coach McAllister. Down 8-1 in set number 3. Hawks off to a fast lead, getting ready for the regional tournament. A few stats for you guys. Uh, Megan Crowley is ranked number four nationally, averaging 10.84 assists per set. Number one in the conference with 531 total assists. Jordan Carlisle is ranked third nationally, averaging 5.3 points per set. She is also number six in kills per set with an average of 4.45. She leads the MCAA conference in kills with 218. Abby Seeger leads the team in hitting percentage at uh, .405, which is 
very high hitting percentage. It's going to be higher than that after tonight. Which ranks sixth nationally and then second in our conference. She also leads the uh, MCCAA in blocks per set and is second in aces and she's back to serve. So, Jayhawks with some impressive stats there. All kind of go out the window as of next week once you get into that's single right, elimination yeah, that's play. That's right, and it's win or go home. Point number nine. Mm -hmm. uh, come Wednesday night, it doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It's only what happens tonight. So all that stuff, like you said, goes out the window. And in a lot of those situations, single elimination. Oh, there, there. Net love there, home court. Net crawler. Never any seasons in beach volleyball where it was play 12 games and then go to the playoffs every tournament or match you played in was either in a tournament or some sort of single elimination format. Well, that one goes long, but a great run by Abby Seeger. Good to see her getting a rhythm into her serve. Perfect. Uh, good for her to get that going going into next week. 2-10. Coach Rixie putting Maddie Lynn in for Libero like he did on the fourth and fifth set against the Raiders. Yeah. Giving him a few different looks. Yeah. 11-2, Crowley back to serve. Abby Seeger's going to continue playing at Indiana South Bend. We're majoring in nursing. Little cool off the block there. Can't say enough for our nurses. And a lot of the girls that have gone through the uh, program here are nurses. And... Uh, Hats off to them during the last 15 months dealing with all this stuff. And here comes Brittany McHugh. She says, give me the ball a little bit here. And she's hammering away. So Jayhawks getting her involved when they have a good pass, which yeah. is nice to see. Yep. Megan Wigginer coming in for Megan. Good serve. By Jordan Carlisle, service winner for 13-3. Fruitport product out of the longtime powerhouse Fruitport Trojan program here in West Michigan. Yes, sir. Nice stuff. We get a touch. Now he comes up. Out the leg. And there. Oh, smart tip, but a nice pickup. Bob just pushes it wide at the right idea. Good thought by Megan there. Just Jordan, I'm sure, coached by our good friend Nicole Bale. Yep. Debbie Olson, Jeff Grossenbacher. Jamie Stewart. Jamie Stewart. Can't forget Jamie. Pleasure of working with Jamie. She was a great player, great, great person to coach. 4-14. And she rider puts a rainbow to, rainbow tip on it and it finds the floor for 15-4. And Maddie Wynn, who's playing Libero this set, back to serve up 15-4, very comfortable. 15-4 lead. Here we go, here we go. Oh, and that one you can't run down. Beats it through the block. Ryder kind of hit the panic button after it came through there. Yeah. Just needs to relax and pass that up. Easier said yeah. than done, though. Nice short serve by Schwab. Rally back to Ryder. Oh, and a block for number 13. Haley Ebersol with a block. 15-6. 615, Schwab back to serve. She's gonna jump it up. Just comes a little short. Hit that one a little little full. And a post to my end of the 16-6 cushion. Back to serve for the Lady Jayhawks. 
short serve, yeah. free ball yeah. over. Yeah. Maddie picks it up, coming back to Seventeen six. Drive out of the back row, a little short into the net. And Anna Postma still back to serve. Seventeen six bulge. Nice shot there. Picked up by Schwab. I feel like that's a double miss, double call there when she turns yeah. and tries to set it to the corner and. Yeah. And there's a free ball for the Jayhawks. Kind of oh. Little bit of a panic there by Wagner. Mm -hmm. and yeah. That's it out. 7 17. Good serve. And it's all. And pulls it off the block. Mm -hmm. Wagner out, uh, ice in. Eighteen seven lead for Megan. Off the block. Not Got a net. There, number twelve. Nineteen seven. Nice short serve there. Picked up by Maddie Wynn. Oh, Abby says to take that. Nice set by Crowley. Good swing there. 27. And they're just a rolling. Another nice serve deep. On the back row to Schwab. Gonna roll it. Picked up by Wynn. Nick to Seeger. She gets that one in the net. I don't know. That might have been her first error of the night. Mm -hmm. Trying to swing a little too straight down yeah. there. 820. Deep serve. Probably a nice bump set over to Carlisle. Swing. And hits it deep and in. 21 8. And Seeger goes back to serve. Brittany McHugh comes back in the front row. Brittany's having a nice match tonight. Middles are very, really involved tonight. And that one sails long on her. Didn't get enough snap on that one to give it to dive. So 921. Lady Jayhawks just four points away from sweeping the match. And then Maddie Wynn passes it up. Good high block touch. Roll down her arm. They'll take it for point .22. Crowley takes the ball with her. 22-9. Right her in. Post them out. Twenty-two to nine. Nice serve. Picked up by Wynn. Whitney McHugh's just having fun out there tonight. Good swing. Good hard angle. 23-9, two points away for Megan Crowley. Trying to pick up point 24 here. Nice deep serve down the line. And then he does clear the net. So brings us to one of an extremely large amount of match points. And a postma coming in on the right side for Lindsay Ryder. Looking for the something special here. Megan for the win. Nice deep. Picked up by Schwab. Go off to Schwab and turn into the net. And a Anna Postma comes in. Gets a big block. Yep. Good win. Jayhawks win 25-10, 25-10, 25-10-9 to take a perfect conference record and extend. We'll be back next Wednesday night.
either at 6.30 or 7, but watch the website for the actual time. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend.